Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening from wherever you are. I'm Ben, and this is my advanced functions work. Today we're going to be simplifying the rational expression uh, set here and identify any restriction. So let's just get into it. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the numerator here, x to the 7. Because I want to be factoring these, I want to be simplifying this. Um, I'm just going to see the denominator below, and we can definitely, definitely simplify that. So we're going to start writing it down. 3x squared, take away 20x, take away 7. And the first thing I notice is we're going to have to use some magic numbers here. So crisscross, a times c equals 21, negative 21. And we need a number that will add to negative 20. Negative 21 and 1. It's simple as that because um, negative 21 plus 1 equals negative 20. And obviously, negative 21 times 1 equals negative 21. Pretty simple stuff so far. Um, so we're just going to plug that into our expression. Uh, x take away 7, 3x squared take away 21 x plus 1x take away 7. Now what we can do is we can simplify these by putting brackets around them. So what you can do here is we can start factoring these out fully. So 3x, you can get rid of that because 3 is a factor of 21. So 21 divided by 3 is 7. Close the bracket there because 3x times 7 equals negative 7 equals negative 21x. Now over here, 3x squared, since we already got rid of it, it would just be x. So x take away 7 is your first bracket. Your second bracket, 1x take away 7. Uh, you, can't, um, you can't really do much here. Just put a 1 here to get rid of the 1, and it should be x take away 7. And you know it's correct because you have two brackets with the same numbers and that means that your final answer would be x take away 7 in other brackets 3x plus 1 and there you go that's the start of this expression now what you can do after this is solve the other side of it 5x squared plus 3x x squared take away 4x now we know here, uh, first thing we're gonna wanna do is, same as this side, is factor it all out. Um, so to start, we are going to realize that there are two x's here. So that means that you can do x equals, I'll do it over here. x. Uh, and then you can do 5x to get rid of the square, plus 3. Um, just like that. And then denominator, x cubed to take away 4x uh, equals, so this one's a little trickier, but uh, once you get the hang of it, you'll figure it out pretty easily, as you can see where I'm going. Um, x cubed take away 4, so anything you can really do, there is, um, and that'd be x plus 2, x take away 2, like that, and then x here, because you have to cube it. So x plus 2, and in brackets, x take away 2, when you do your rainbow like this, you get x squared, x squared, but we need a cube, so we're going to add one more over here to make it x cubed take away 4. So this is just, these are all just factored versions of this. And now we can get to figuring out our restrictions now that this is simplified. Now, what we can do is find our restrictions. So first one, x take away seven. Uh, say this is a zero, obviously. Uh, bring this over, this would be plus seven. Our first one would equal seven. Over here, uh, we're gonna do 3x plus 1, and that would equal 0. And so what do we go from there? Plus 1, negative 1 over here. 0 take away negative 1, obviously negative 1. And then we bring the x over, so we divide that over 3. 
So that final answer would be negative one over three. So, so far we have zero and negative one over three. Next one over here is uh, five X squared plus three squared. We have the factor version over here. Um, so that would be same situation over here. Five X plus three equals zero. And then bring that over, negative 3 over 5. And that would be negative 3 over 5. Lastly, we have 2 over here because we have x plus 2 and x take away 2. So x plus 2. Sorry, not over here. Um, so you may think, oh, the zeros are plus 2 and negative 2. Easy as that. Well, long story short, they are, but that's not exactly how it's going to work because we have to obviously get it to equal up to zero. So first one, x plus two equals zero. This one would actually be negative two. So it's almost as if they're flipped. And then obviously x take away two equals zero, flip that over and you get plus two. So final zero would be two. So there you have it, the simplified version of x take away seven over three x squared, take away 20 x, take away seven. Uh, and then 5x squared plus 3x uh, over 3x, 3 cubed, uh, take away 4x. Yeah, so your zeros are 7, negative 1 over 3, negative 3 over 5, negative 2, and 2. So in conclusion, we have simplified all of this um, with the restrictions. And yeah, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you understand how to simplify rational expressions and determine restrictions. See you next time.